In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hold the golf club. This is gonna be great if you are new to golf, but also a very valuable reminder if you're already an established golfer. So the first thing we've got to do before we take hold of the golf club at all is to make sure that golf club is straight. Because the last thing we want to do is put the club down on the ground and have it pointing off in the wrong direction and then taking our grip. It's so important to make sure before we start that club is super straight. If it's aiming too far to the right when it's on the ground, guess what? You're going to hit it to the right and if it's aiming too far to the left, you're gonna hit it to the left. Make sure it's super straight. Once you know where super straight is, often on a grip of a golf club, there's some sort of text or alignment that's also in line with the club face. So as you can see here on the grip, I've got this little white notch at the top, a little red one there, halfway down, and another black one at the end. Or whatever the brand of the grip is or the golf club, that is typically straight with the club head. And it's so valuable to know that because whatever you do, don't want to do is have the perfect grip, but the club was aiming in the wrong direction in the first place. Once you've got that aiming straight, then we can take hold of the golf club. And this is really key. First stage, when I have that golf club straight to where I'm aiming to, I want to take the hold of the golf club in the most natural way my hand wants to sit. So this is going to be instruction for right the golfers. But if you are left-handed, just reverse the order, i.e. when I talk about my left, think about your right. So as I just let my arm naturally hang here, my left arm, as you can see, the palm is slightly facing into the golf club. It wouldn't be natural for most people to have the hand that way or natural to have the hand that way. So don't put your hand on the grip in those different positions. We want to keep it as natural as possible. Now, a really good guide for this if I put the club, if I bring that hand to the side of the grip, as you can see, the club sits in between the edge of the little finger and the middle of my index finger. That is a great reference point, straight down this line. And I don't even mind if you have a glove, drawing a marker line down there as a reminder. That wants to sit on the side of the grip. Then we're gonna wrap the fingers around and place the hand on top now that is where the left hand position is going to be there's a couple of checkpoints i want you to have the first one being is this v that we create between our thumb and our index finger that crease there now when you have got the club in front of you that crease wants to be running towards your right shoulder if that crease is running towards your right shoulder when the club is level to the ground you are in the correct position. I'll show you a couple of other options. If the hand's twisted too far this way, the crease is way over here. And if your hand is twisted too far that way, the crease cannot be seen. That's number one checkpoint. Number two checkpoint, another really valuable one, is make sure you can see two knuckles on your left hand. So one here and one there. And again, I don't mind if you have a marker pen to draw a couple of black dots or whatever color dots on your knuckles there so you know what you're looking for. Take care and attention putting this left hand on because this left hand is one of the biggest factors of keeping that club face nice and straight. It's also why you'll often wear a glove on this top hand. Make sure you get it in the right position. It is invaluable. Next, the bottom hand. So similar to the top hand, we want to just have that hand come in and almost be in a fairly natural position. Again, unnatural would be bringing the hand like this and unnatural would be bringing the hand into the club like this. We almost want to go to the side of the grip. And there's a little checkpoint through the middle of my hand here where almost this lifeline is. I'm looking at resting my crease on the middle of my hand to the side of my thumb. It's almost like I'm shaking hands with the side of the grip. Then we wrap the fingers around and then we place the squishy bit of my hand here on top of my gloved hand, on my gloved thumb. There's a couple of checkpoints. That crease that I mentioned in my left hand, we create another crease here with the right hand between the thumb and the index finger. That again wants to run up towards that right shoulder. So now, the crease on my left hand and the crease on my right hand are pointing towards my right shoulder. 
That is a super neutral grip. When I talk about neutral, it's one of what's going to keep that club face as straight as it can be during the golf swing. If your hand goes on incorrectly, you are going to manipulate and change how that face comes into the golf ball. That's where you're going to hit it offline. The next thing to talk about is what happens at the back of the grip. Now, there's three options here. There's this option, which is called a 10 finger grip, where the hands are nice and close together and the little finger on my right hand and the index finger on my left are just basically touching together. That's 10 finger. The next one, which is super popular, is called overlap, where my little finger just overlaps the index finger on my left hand. And then the final one, which is also super popular, is an interlocking grip. Now, I'll be honest with you, out of those three, 10 finger, overlap, interlock, I don't care which one of them you do. It's whatever feels comfortable for you. And let me stress something. The grip is one of the most uncomfortable things you can do in golf. It feels awkward, it feels weird. But rest assured, when you get the grip correct, it'll make such a massive difference to your golf game, certainly when you're starting off golf, because you'll get into a lot less bad habits. So I don't care at the back whether it's 10 fingers, overlap or interlock. The next thing is about pressure. How tight should we hold the golf club? Well, I suggest firm without strangling the golf club. So we want a bit of a hold on the golf club to put, apply a little bit of pressure without squeezing the club to its, you know, <laughs> to death basically. Have a little bit of pressure in the grip. Now with all that happening, you will feel like you've got control of the club face. They'll feel like there's a level of control that the face isn't twisting. I want to put a little disclaimer in this video. I would only ever change an existing player's grip if direction is a problem. Often, grip interferes with direction. Now, if you're a golfer that hits it pretty straight and your grip is different to what I talked about, maybe don't change it because it's working for you. You've maybe built some characteristics in your swing to make it work for you. But if you have issues with hitting the shots to the right, hitting the shots to the left, then the grip is a great place to start and getting it nice and neutral. That's how you hold the golf club, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. You will therefore hit the ball a lot straighter, keeping the grip nice and firm but relaxed. And we'll see you next time. That's how you hold the golf club. We'll see you soon.